All right, parents, let's talk ADHD. More importantly, and way more differently than your doctor does, let's talk about ADHD testing. Because whether you have already or not taken your child in to consider, hey, do they have ADHD? To get tested, to get a diagnosis of ADHD, you're working through these three questions right now. If it's yourself, and heck, you might be working through these for yourself when it comes to ADHD. Number one, do I have it? Number two, is there a test that can tell me I do have it or not? And kind of 2B, which subtype? Medicine has six different subtypes of ADHD. Stick with us on this video. We're going to actually break it down way simpler. And we're going to talk about two subtypes of ADHD. So it's easier to understand, easier to take care of. And then the third question that that path would take you down is, what should I do about it? What can I do about it? Are psychoactive, highly addictive, side effect riddled prescription medications the only thing I can do for ADHD? Is that all there is for my child? Is these dangerous side effect riddled medications? Well, thankfully today, parents are waking up and they're realizing, hey, what I actually want is to not just fill out a survey and put through a questionnaire that labels my kid as ADHD, but I want to find out, do they actually really have it? Now, I'm not just being annoying with my words. I mean it. Can we actually figure out the root cause, the neurological dysfunction and imbalance that's causing ADHD challenges? And once we figure out the actual science, not just blaming on genetics and chemical imbalance, but finding the actual neurophysiology behind ADHD, can we test it? Can we actually find it, measure it, test it, and then same pathway as before, just doing actual testing instead of just labeling through symptoms your child and then medicating them after that with no actual medical testing? Then is there something besides medication we can do to help my child, to help myself? And the answer that this video will unequivocally absolutely tell you, yes, you can, is yeah, yeah, there, there it is. There's the answer. Yes, you can. It starts with the science, then it goes to the testing, and then that will give you and reveal for you a different path, a drug-free path that you can take. My name is Dr. Tony Evil, and I am not only obsessed with helping kids and families with ADHD without drugs because it's my profession as a neurologically focused pediatric chiropractor, but it's the exact path God has laid out in my life. For the first 20 years of my life, I couldn't sleep because my brain was so raging bull. The first type of ADHD I'll show you here in a second when we get into the ADHD testing. I couldn't calm down. I couldn't fall asleep. I couldn't sit still. I couldn't pay attention. I couldn't remember to follow directions. I struggled in life for 20 years. I grew up a generation ago in a small farm town in Iowa, so I never got diagnosed with ADHD. I never got medicated for ADHD. Thank God. The way I look at it from both a personal standpoint and a neurophysiological standpoint is ADHD can either be a blessing or a struggle. And for me, I thank God in my prayers every single morning for giving me ADHD because I get more done being a raging bull brain by 7 a.m. than most people do in seven days. I'm here, here, I'm here with this video to teach you the science, to teach you the testing, to get into the scans that I'll show you in a second. But I wanted to just speak to you personally for a second. And you already know this. I'm just affirming and confirming what you already know. You're your child's ADHD is also their brilliance. It's also their creativity. It's also their empathy. It's also their intellectual, absolute, incredible capacity. They can do so much with ADHD. And in fact, if you study the world much at all, you'll look at the biggest entrepreneurs, the biggest, the best engineers, the best inventors, the best musicians, the best CEOs, they're full-fledged ADHD. Now, when you have it, you need to find out do I actually have it? What's really going on with my nervous system? And then you get that choice. How do I want to manage it? How do I want to, and I don't even like the word manage. How do I want to take care of it? Do I want to use drugs and medication and try and stuff it down and change who I am or change who my child is? Or do I want to actually bring online a brake pedal, a balancing, a regulating side of the nervous system to counterbalance and keep me in a better place with that fight or flight, sympathetic, raging bull nervous system that most ADHD kiddos have. So that's the next thing I'll teach you before I show you the test. There's only two types, raging bulls, fight or flight, ADHD, impulsivity, all the gas pedal, moving, talking, doing all the time. They struggle to sit still, slow down, fall asleep, 
And that's why if too much, too much gas pedal, too much raging bull without enough brake pedal, vagus nerve, parasympathetic stuff you'll learn here in this video to balance it back out, they get in trouble. They struggle. So the raging bull can spill over the line, if you will, go over the threshold and it can turn into an absolute struggle and it can really wreak havoc on someone's quality of life. The second kind of ADHD is what we've nicknamed for both its effects and its neurology that's causing it, the drunken bull. So they're not hyperactive. They're not impulsive but they move really slow. They struggle with their processing speed, their organization, their concentration, maybe even their physical and emotional regulation as well. And the third type, if there's two types, there's actually three because most kids have some of both. Some raging bull, some drunken bull, equal mix. One is usually more of a strong point than the other. The raging bull is obviously the most common, especially in dudes. So we're talking about this testing and we're saying, okay, well, if it's not just bad luck, genetics, and it's not just um, the chemicals were just engineered wrong upon design, because that's not at all how God made us. God made us to each be unique. Raging bulls were made to be raging bulls. Those that move slower and process differently, they were made to be that way too. So can we take these things that maybe get out of balance, can we bring them back into balance and therefore meet our full potential? That's our work through the PX Docs Network. That's our work as pediatric chiropractors. We do not treat ADHD. We do not cure ADHD sensory and the things that we work on. We address the root cause head on. We address the central and autonomic nervous system head on. And the first step in that process process is we've got to test it. We've got to measure it. We've got to find out what we're up against and what we're dealing with. And so what we do is we actually run what are called neurological insight scans. Now, wherever you're finding this video, I promise you this, there's a link to an article that will do a written version of this video and it'll map out all the ADHD testing, including this technology. There'll be another link inside of that article to go to the full long kind of what we call pillar article I wrote on ADHD. And then there'll be another link to learn more about this technology itself. So I just want to speak to you analytical research science loving folks aka my homies because i'm one of you wherever you're finding this video click the link along with the copy in the video or go to our bio if you're watching on instagram or facebook or something like that find our youtube video and watch this full video and learn and click on the articles go to the website pxdocs.com and find those as well because this technology is the missing link that will actually test for your child's adhd and sensory challenges and then we can track the changes as well. So I'm primarily going to show you today a starting scan, what a child's nervous system, a raging bull kiddo's nervous system looks like on these two scans when they get started. But the coolest thing about this technology is we keep running these scans every four to six weeks as our drug-free neurologically focused care programs um, go forward. And we can actually see the nervous system and brain change because you better believe the nervous system for your child can calm down, can balance out, can regulate once those neurotonal adjustments as done by a trained and experienced pediatric chiropractor like you'll find in the PX Docs Network gets that job done. So what we're looking at here is you better believe we are looking at a classic raging bull scan. So this is a seven-year-old little boy who is getting in trouble all the time and has been, never grew out of their colic, never grew out of their tantrum. See, when you are told that your child who's colicky and fussy and ADHD -E as a baby will grow out of it, that's not true. When you're told that the constant tantrums and the meltdowns and the sensory challenges they have as two-year-olds and three-year-olds and four-year-olds, don't worry, they'll grow out of it. They're just a little boy. That's how it is. It's a fine. That's not true. The neurology of colic, the neurology of meltdowns as a toddler is the same neurology as a raging bull, ADHD, grade schooler, high schooler, you and I. And that is this. This scan right here, the EMG, is measuring the neurosensory input into the brain. So I like to, it's actually called electromyography. So it's a neurosensory scan through the nerves and the muscles of the spine and the neurospinal system. And that system, the muscles of the nervous system there supply 60% of all the input into the brain and the muscles of just the brainstem and the upper neck alone supply 33% of it. So things like birth trauma, forceps, induction, emergency C-section are often the biggest, earliest, and most overlooked triggers of this neurology and then the symptomatology that comes with it that we might call medicine, might call ADHD. So we aren't about the diagnosis. We are about the root cause and the actual neurological testing. And so what we have with this kiddo is we have a full, so the more color, the more tension, the more stress. So this child's nervous system is absolutely stuck on fight or flight, sympathetic tone, neuromuscular tension, 
proprioception, just stress getting blasted into the brain at all times, and we can actually score that. So these scans, these three numbers here, should all score 100. This scan is done with a child just sitting in our office. It takes five minutes. It's completely non-invasive. And they're just sitting there, relaxed, playing, hanging out while we do these neurosensory stress tests for them. And this child's nervous system is at 400 plus. So at rest, their nervous system, their gas pedal is four times more revved up and wound up than can be. So that is why they so easily, more easily blow their engine when there's other stimulation that comes into their nervous system and why they can't sit still. Um, this child is a little bit there. This pattern score is a nerdy neurological score to measure the organization and the regulation capacity of the nervous system. Once that drips bo d dips below 75, that child does start to have a little bit of struggle with focus, concentration, and the drunk and then there is a ton of research coming out every single month linking this heart rate variability, so what's called HRV technology, which measures the adaptability and really the balance or imbalance is a better way, really what's looking at here, between the sympathetic fight or flight nervous system and the parasympathetic calming, regulating, balancing system. And obviously to not struggle with ADHD, to not struggle with our focus, to not struggle with our behavior, our emotions, we want to be balanced. We want to be right in the middle and we want to have high resiliency, high adaptability. When we are playing sports and we get to go, 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 we want to be able to go. When we're sitting in school and we need to calm down and pay attention, we want to be able to adapt and shift into that mode as well. What we see with this child whose nervous system is a 400 overstimulated, that then brings their nervous system too much, too far left into this gas pedal fight or flight side, which is the same as saying too little on to the brake pedal side. That is a quick preview of our ADHD testing. And again, it is unlike anything else out there. If you are that parent who wants to figure out the exact real answers to does my child have it? And if so, which subtype? To what degree can I actually test for it? And then is there drug-free options to help get that nervous system out of fight or flight, to activate the vagus nerve, to stimulate the parasympathetic system? That's exactly how our protocols work. What we do with pediatric neurologically focused chiropractic and this neurotonal technique that all the docs in our PX Docs Network are trained to do is we're not treating, we're not curing, we're going at the root, that direct root cause neurological imbalance and dysfunction. And if the gas pedal is overactive and stuck on, the way we bring that down is we activate and stimulate the parasympathetic and vagus nerve side of the nervous system with light, easy, simple, safe, and effective adjustments that recalibrate, reorganize, and rebalance the central nervous system. And so it's not a treatment, it's not a cure, it's a drug-free care option for ADHD that I personally have used over the last 20 years of my life now to completely shift from the first 20 years of my life, which didn't have neurologically focused chiropractic and did have all the struggles, they're all gone. Now my ADHD is the greatest blessing. It's the greatest thing I could ever have because it's exactly how God made me. It's exactly how I perform and function at my best. I just need to have that regular reset, that regular adjustment to keep myself balanced, to keep myself sleeping, to keep myself regulated, and it works without drugs. And the side effects of all this are all good. So I want you to learn more, read more. Click on the article, read the full article. Inside the article, you'll see more links about ADHD in full, about the technology, about the vagus nerve. If you went through this and it's all making sense, but it's kind of sort of making sense and you want to learn more, that's what the website and the articles are for. There's more articles there. There's more videos there. There's downloadable guides for ADHD, sensory and sleep that you can find there. We do webinars and workshops all the time through our PX Docs platform. And once you're ready to get this testing, to get your hope answers and drug-free help for your child, get on our directory at pxdocs.com. Find your local PX doctor. Give them a call. Get scheduled. Get these scans get in the office and get your child's ADHD from the struggles to an absolute full potential strength. We'll see you on the next one.